Gregor, we're here in France ahead of this weekend's game. How have you found it out here? Yeah, it's been great to get back uh, in the heat. Um, a place that we, we know well. We came here in June, um, so it's familiar. Uh, and we realise uh, that the challenge is a, is a massive one this week, playing France at home. And a few changes to your starting lineup. Kyle Stain coming back in, someone who's done really well for us recently, especially in the Six Nations. Yeah, this week's an opportunity to, to obviously manage people's game time. Darcy has played in two games to, to give people opportunities to play that, that are going to be close to our World Cup squad or our, our final 23. And, and Kyle's certainly one of those players. He's an excellent Six Nations, played in the Italy game um, and allows us uh, to, to give Darcy a week off, but also to go in with, with Duan and, and Kyle. Um, and we can really challenge France in those wide channels. And one of the elder statesmen of the squad, VP Nell, he starts again, someone who just continues to impress. Yeah, he was really good off the bench last week. Uh, he, he's trained fully all throughout this, this pre-season, which was probably ahead of our expectations. Uh, he's in, in great condition. He knows the scrum and knows the game inside out. Uh, and he's highly motivated to, to still play for Scotland. So it's great that he gets to start this weekend. And good to see Jamie Ritchie coming back in as captain. How's he been faring since his injury? He's trained well, so he's, he got back to full training by, by Tuesday this week uh, and the, our trainings have been really fast with, with the pitch we train out here and also the, the heat and the, the rugby we, we um, aim to play and Jamie's, Jamie's coped well. Uh, I think he's the only player in our squad that hasn't had game time yet, um, so we, we know we're, we're well prepared for, for this game. Um, most, most players second game of the season, second test match of the season and we'll be ready to take them on two fresh hookers coming into the, the 23 as well. That's an area that's really competitive right now. It is, it is, yeah. There's four hookers here, four scrum halves here, and it's very likely only three will go in each position. So the, the players we have in both those positions are are excellent for, for how we want to play in attack and defence. Um, and George, who, who started a lot of games for us over the last uh, couple of years, gets a, a chance to start. And Stuart, who's so strong off the bench against Italy, um, now gets to, to play in a, in a bigger game uh, against a quality opposition uh, and what will be a, a real noisy atmosphere um, as France are building up towards their home World Cup. A 6-2 split on the bench, what's your thinking there? Well, we, we've used it before. We actually used it against France um, in the Six Nations and uh, I'm glad we went for 6-2 that day because we, we needed forwards on the field following uh, Grant's uh, red card. We know that some teams like to use a 6-2. Probably our opponents in the World Cup, uh, South Africa, will, will go 6-2. They, they've used that for a number of seasons now. Whether we will do that, we'll wait and see. This gives us a chance to, to see how we cope with, with six forwards. We're going to use them. Um, we know a lot of that pack played last week. So getting uh, fresh legs on in the second half will, will help the way we play. And also, we, we know we've got flexibility in our back line. We've got Blair King on, can cover a number of positions. So can Ollie Smith, so can George Horn. But also, so can, so can some of our forwards. Jack Dempsey and, and Josh Bayliss could easily play in the back line. And if they have to do that at the weekend, um, it'll be something we'll look forward to. What are you expecting from France on the pitch, but also off the pitch? It's set to be a, a brilliant atmosphere in a stadium that they don't usually play in. Yeah, no, I know the French love the, the stadium. It's, it's iconic for, for a lot of French football fans, um, San Etienne were a, were a great team in the, the 70s and 80s and they were renowned for their, their atmospheres at that stadium. It's very enclosed, um, it'll be noisy. The way the, uh, the crowd were for France during the Six Nations, um, just the whole build up to the game, the, the music they play, uh, it will create a really noisy atmosphere and that, that's great preparation for us. Like we, we know we're going into a World Cup where the, the supporters will be split between our, our supporters and the opposition, but it'll be really noisy. Um, and I think this is ideal preparation for us. Not only the, the quality of players we're up against, the team, but also the atmosphere we're, we're going to expect in the World Cup.